Okay guys, uh, so uh, this is going to be another new series that I'm going to start and it's going to be on these little boys which are MLCCs. So um, if you see in previous videos I probably uh, have talked a bit about MLCCs, well I've talked a lot about MLCCs. So um, let me have a look here on the board to find some MLCCs for us. Hopefully I have some boards with some on them that I haven't already taken them all off. Um, let me have a look, let me have a look. Here we go. So these are your MLCCs on a board. So what I keep them for is for recovery of precious metals such as palladium, uh, gold and silver. Now some of the newer ones won't have them as much precious metal in them. You might already get a bit of silver, uh, but some of the old ones will have your palladium and your gold in them. Uh, some of the new ones have just zinc and stuff like that in it, which um, can be a bit of a hassle. So um, I still remove them all regardless um, because I don't. Uh, you're not going to be 100 percent sure whether it does have it or doesn't have it. Um, and at the moment, we'd say I'll just check there today uh, just to see what. Um, scrap price would be on palladium and what it's telling me at the moment today is we're just looking there if i can get it to focus these now are sterling prices uh which would be at the moment if it's 90 percent uh palladium pure palladium you're getting 864 pounds um per uh tri ounce if it's 99.9 percent .9%, you're going to get 958 so you convert that to your local currency and see what you're getting if that was my currency it's about in euros um at the moment uh let me see what we get for that um so uh euro to pounds so it's, we'll call it £955 just to make it easier. Uh, so we're getting 90 cent, uh, 90 cent or 90p for every euro. And let's go into it, the converter, and we'll put in 955 sterling. Will give me 955, would be 1,000 and nearly 60 uh, euro at uh, today's currency. So per ounce. Um, which is a nice little, nice little amount to have. And what they say is that the, um, the MLCCs can contain up to 10% of their weight is precious metal. So um, if, imagine if that 10% was all palladium. So uh, to get, um, if you had 300 grams, uh, you should have one ounce of it. Just rough maths now, and I'm not saying you want to have that, but I'm just saying if that was all palladium, the 10%, but it won't be, it would be silver, it would be some gold as well. But it just goes to show how valuable these little items are. To remove them is very, very straightforward. Um, the way I remove them is a little chisel. So I just get my chisel, and I just put it down here, and I just wiggle the chisel, and it should just remove the actual MLCC there itself. So that's our little MLCC. So again, if you're not sure what an MLCC is, just give a quick Google and you will see the uh, precious metals that these MLCCs can contain. Um, I think MLCCs are on the go from nearly 30 years, maybe 25, 30 years into a lot of items with the precious metals in them. Um, so if you can get something that's 20 years old, chances are that MLCC in there will have your palladium, will have your silver, will have your gold in it. So. Again, we'll just remove another one. So it's just a matter of moving the chisel. So we'll remove a few actually in one go there. So I've removed all three. So that was very, very easy the way I do it on that. Again, you can use a heat gun, but you have to go picking through everything then in to find them. Um, if I used a heat gun to release everything off the board, I have to go searching through all the small bits to get the little um, MLCCs. So again, I just throw them in here and I collect them up. Um, so again, two more here. So it's just a matter of chisel and we have our two MLCCs taken off and um, actually we'll just throw them up on top of this so you can see them a bit better. So that's our two MLCCs, uh, we have two more here. So just to show how quickly you can go through a board with them, 
um, you know it's just a matter of removing them off there so that's the two of them um, and we have another one here oh, another one there so we've that one removed uh, can I see any more I can see some another one here so again is that one not that wasn't one and let me have a look here little small ones so they come in all different sizes so again we just get the chisel and if I can locate them where I pushed them with my finger too so that is them here very small but again if 10% of that is precious metal um, then it's going to be worth collecting up um, where a lot of stuff you're going to be collecting up will not be 10% uh, precious metal by weight so again we have two more down here so again we just remove them two and we put them up here there's one and the second one just there like that so again uh, very straightforward for removing them on the other side of the board do we have any more we do we have two more down here so again I just use my chisel and put them up there and another one so again he's just removed again you can get a sharper chisel this chisel at the moment isn't the sharpest I'm using so that's on there and then we have a line of four here so again it's just a matter of processing with the chisel and breaking them off and I'll have them there and I think one fell somewhere behind there he is so very quickly you can add them up another one stuck there two more here so two more there well the reason I'm keeping them off there for a minute is I'm just going to do maybe five or ten minutes here of removing MLCC's I'm going to weigh them up and just see what I've done in in uh, five or ten minutes five or ten minutes of quick removal so I'm going to pause the video there and I'm going to come back in when I remove uh, we'd say there's one two three four and even here on this little um, thing here we have a small MLCC here so again I'll just remove them because again it's a straightforward item people are probably saying oh geez that's hardly worth taking off the board for the size of it but they weigh way up like um, so I'm gonna just do that I'm gonna just do a quick weigh up afterwards and see what weight we got of them um, and then just rough maths of 10% of that is precious metal we go with um, we'll say 3% of that being gold 3% of that or 3% of that being um, maybe uh, palladium and the other 4% of it being silver and just gives me a rough idea of find out what I should would be worth out of it again that's just rough maths that's just guessing but it's just showing the potential of what could be in there again these might only have 1% of palladium, 7% um, of silver, and 1% of gold. Or it might be no gold, no palladium, and all silver. Or it could possibly be all zinc. It's just the way it is, um, but I just like to collect them up. So I'll just pause the video, and I'll come back when I have them all stripped off. Okay, so I've removed um, the MLCCs from four or five of them boards. Uh, so you can see them here. they are all my MLCCs. So we'll just zero this out and we'll just get a quick weight on it. So we'll just see what I'd got there just for about 10 minutes work. Uh, so 6 grams. So 0.6 of that, I would say going by the 10%. Uh, so that means uh, there should be 0.6 of a gram of precious metal um, there between silvers, palladium and golds. So again, just this little top on ones I'm working at at the moment. So we'll just see what have I got weight wise. So 296 grams. So 29 grams of that should be, if it was the better stuff, better ones, um, should be roughly 10% of it, I think it is, is should be um, precious metal, um, which is a good return for your effort compared to some of the other stuff that we take off boards uh, like IC chips you're not going to get 10% of that being precious metal um, if you had uh, 297 grams of uh, IC chips you, 29 grams you're not going to get 29 grams of um, precious metal from that so 
the return for the size is very good on these MLCCs. So that's why the reason I collect them up. Because people will be looking and asking me, what, why are you collecting them little things up? What's the story with them? Now, the only th downside to them is um, the effort to get the um, precious metal out of them is quite high. And um, it's also, you have other issues such as... Um, um, what was I going to say there? Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Just uh, someone has sent me a text message here. So I lost um, um, my train of thought. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, the other um, issue is you can get a uh, palladium poisoning sort of idea. So from just touching the liquid, when you uh, process this down and you've got the liquid, a little bit of liquid gets on your skin it can damage you, um, your health um, so badly that in years to come, you might notice it straight away, in years to come you're going to have a lot of illnesses that lead from that. So there is people who have died because of it. That's the downside of it. And that's where my um, health warning comes in um, about it, um, is that you, you can actually cause yourself serious, serious health problems. Um, so you've had people who, who have lung problems because of it, you have heart problems because of it. Um, it's been linked to um, a lot of different different illnesses where people have got um, poison from it, toxicity of it itself is, is very high from the liquid getting on your, and it's just getting on your skin. It's not even breathing, drinking the Ijamine, it's just actually drops getting on your skin. So that's why it's very, very important that you know what you're doing, that you don't go messing with this sort of stuff, uh, messing with acids, mixing the liquids, and not knowing the side effects of it. So my advice is, if this is something that you're looking to do, or maybe looking to go at, know what you're doing. Know the downside of it, the side effects. Is the risk worth the return for you? Um, have you the proper safety gear? Have you the proper safety procedures if something goes wrong? Um, have you got your everything that you know what to do if a certain acid spills? Um, have you got your, the proper way of dealing with it? Acid burns, acid inhaling acids, any of that sort of stuff. You have to have your procedures correct or you run the risk of killing yourself or killing someone else. And some of these side effects you won't notice straight away. So you may think you got away with it. And you go back and you do something again and next thing something else happens and each time it's making it worse and worse and worse and eventually some morning you wake up and you can hardly breathe because of something that you've done past so that's really it that's my warning to you about palladium and um, but the the upside of it is the price of it at the moment is quite high uh price of gold is quite high at the moment silver no not so but palladium and gold at the moment would be very good prices so i said that little jar there We'll just zero that again, zero it, just to make sure we're getting the same reading. So we'll just pull them in here again, back into their own jar. And we got a totally different reading. So I don't know, was that me? So we'll just go back and zero it, because that should not be that. Uh, something went wrong with my scales. There we go, and just pour them in. Yeah, there's my 289, 290. So my scales must be playing up a bit. 297, there we go. 296. So my scales is giving me a bit of bother by the looks of it. Zero that. And let's see, so. I'm getting 600 and something. Why is that? Now, can anyone explain to me what's going on with my scales? So <laughs> I'm gonna have to check my scales out because that is just so weird. Minus 55, that jug wears 55, back to zero. Okay, 297, exactly what I should be expecting. And zero it, zero it. There we go. Three hundred, near enough. So it's around the 297 uh, mark on it. So that's it for this video. Uh, until the next one, guys, keep on scrapping. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Uh, check out my community tab for upcoming stuff. And uh, that's it. Thanks a lot.